Now we're going to give him some drops by mouth. I'm giving him two lots of medication by mouth. The first one is moxidectin, and that is the maiden treatment for the leg condition. The mite infestation that where the mites are burrowing in the in the beak. So in the in the feet. So the first thing is get him to grip onto something. Just use it as a fulcrum. Then open his beak at the tip of his beak like that. With your fingers. And then we said it's two drops to 50 gram body weight. So he weighs 235. So we're going to give him uh, 10 drops. 10 drops by mouth. So I'm just going to let the drops fall into the, without letting the dropper touch his beak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then we're just tilting his head back a little bit and letting that run down to the back of his throat. So moxidectin will go through, be absorbed from the intestine. It will treat parasites in the bloodstream if he's got any microfilaria, similar to heartworm, only the bird equivalent. Um, it will often treat that. It will treat intestinal worms and it will treat the burrowing mites. It doesn't treat the, um, the mites that are running in the feathers um, very well. So that's why I use the spray as well for that. I'm also going to start him on some, what I'll call detox, uh, a solution of zeolite. Uh, zeolite um, binds heavy metals and some other toxins and things. Uh, that's going to give me one, two, three, about four and five, to start him with there. Okay, and we can do that. Now, some currawongs are stronger in the beak than others, and if a bird is biting you, one of these birds is biting you, it's a mistake to try and rip your finger out because the edge of the beak is quite sharp, and then they've got the little hook on the end that can tear your skin. So, if a bird is one of these um, native birds, uh, particularly the, the, um, the channel bill cuckoo, something like that latches onto you, the trick is to put something in the like that into the corner of the beak, slide it towards the thing, open the beak and take your finger out and you haven't got a tear and you haven't got a cut finger as a result. So that's just a bit of a technique for handling birds with uh, sharp edges, the cormorants, many of the seabirds have got razor edges to their beaks for catching fish and a lot of other birds have pretty painful beaks if they latch on. Uh, that's a trick for getting yourself out of trouble there.